Hey, what's up guys? Mike here from The Lost Co. reporting live from my office here at the shop. And in this video, I'm gonna be checking in with you guys and also responding to some frequently commented comments that I keep seeing in our videos. One being, where the heck is Mike's hair? And two being, where the heck is Mike? Let's figure out that first one real quick. You probably noticed I had really long hair for a couple years and it is gone. Well, obviously I uh, got a haircut. I had hair in my mouth, in my eyes, and in my food that I was making for dinner and it was time for a change. I cut off all my hair. It did seem to startle some folks, but don't worry. Same person, just different haircut. Switching it up, I'm sure I'll grow it out again, but anyways, that is the, the update on my hair. Sorry, guys. All right, now on to the bigger question. Where the heck has Mike been? Well, you probably noticed that the past maybe year and a half, I have not been in our videos as much as I used to be, and that's for several different reasons, which we'll cover now. All right, first reason being that we hired Tor and Andrew, so we had a dedicated video presenter or host and a new dedicated filmer. Now, Tor and Andrew were actually friends and they kind of came almost as like a package deal, I guess you could say. Tor is the presenter and he's been in pretty much all of our videos since the beginning of this year. He's freaking killing it. I could not be more grateful for Tor and Andrew. Tor, it just does such a great job on all the scripting, making sure all the information comes forth in an easy to digest way. I'm so stoked for Tor. And then Andrew is an amazing filmer. You should see some of the stuff that he's done in the past. Just great behind the camera. However, uh, Andrew just moved back to California for some school. He said it was for school, but it just so happened to also be the last sunny week in Bellingham before he left, so I think it was secretly because of the weather. All right, anyways, now that Andrew's gone, it's going to be both a mix of myself and then also Alex behind the camera. Now, Alex has been filming our videos traditionally in the past, pretty much mostly all of the videos that I have been the host or presenter in was filmed and edited by Alex, so we're gonna get back into that. All right, on to the second reason was I just really needed to hunker down and focus on a lot of business stuff. Now, I am not the most businessy person. I didn't grow up reading all the entrepreneurial books and all that stuff. I'm more so a bike shop kid that just so happens to own a bike shop and it has grown a lot over the years and changed so much that I really needed to adapt and just better learn and figure out things of what's going on, how to deal with them more efficiently, things like that. So organization, banking, management, all sorts of stuff with the website and back end and tech and all this stuff kind of boring stuff that you guys probably don't want to hear about. Maybe you do, I don't know, but it's uh, it's just been a lot. And so I realized that I was kind of putting some of that stuff off on the back burner for a while. And so I wanted to really just focus on that stuff a lot more than I have in the past and get some things dialed in so that we can work more efficiently and be more logistically sound moving forward. Now, I love bikes and I love riding bikes and having fun with bikes and making videos and all sorts of stuff. But really at the end of the day, it comes down to me really loving the customer service side of things. I really love helping people and I wanted to make sure that our business could help people better than any other business out there. We yeah, have really focusing on making things streamlined and easy to use for the customer and then obviously uh, easy to use for us on the back end so that we can make all those processes more efficient and more logistically sound. So I've been doing a lot of that stuff and I am very grateful that I had the time to uh, back off of the media stuff and maintain our foundation. I'm feeling really confident in the business side of things lately. I think we have figured out some really good methods of moving forward with the growth that we've seen in the past few years, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can do with that. All right, now reason number three that I haven't been in the videos that much lately is that, uh, being honest, the COVID pandemic was extremely overwhelming, and kind of took its toll on me as just a person and a business owner for sure. So, Owning a business is definitely tricky, no matter what's going on in the world, but you throw a pandemic in the mix and you don't know what's going on. At the beginning, we thought that things were gonna go totally down, but then it was weird. We were one of the lucky few industries that actually excelled during the pandemic, and we grew so much that we had some definite growing pains and it was it was really difficult. There was a big decision to be made almost every week and it was it was very difficult. And so I worked really hard from, you know, year 2017 to 2019, 2020 to get our internet presence going. And then all of a sudden the pandemic came and it just skyrocketed in regards to traffic to our website and the amount of people that we were helping and the amount of packages that we were shipping out. And that whole thing was very fun and very interesting. I learned a ton, but I'm a human being, right? And it's totally possible to get overloaded in my brain. And I definitely started feeling it after, you know, a year and a half of that giant roller coaster that we were on. And so when Tor and Andrew came aboard, not only did I focus on the business, but I was definitely 
focusing on myself as well. That whole pandemic stuff was super crazy. Unfortunately, I had uh, a death in my family as well, unrelated to COVID, but I had COVID twice. Uh, my girlfriend had COVID. It was really, really bad. And yeah, we had employees getting sick and it was just super overwhelming. And then that mixed with all the business growth at the same time, it, we had to, you know, we moved buildings in the height of the pandemic during that growth as well. That was very tricky. And so, yeah, now it is uh, kind of tapering off as, you know, people can get back to their local bike shop and they don't really need to strictly shop online anymore. So times are changing and it's just freaking crazy, honestly. So I needed a time to step back and kind of just honestly take a breather for a while. I feel extremely grateful for this growth that we saw during such an unfortunately unfortunate time in the world for so many people. During that time, we've also assembled what I would consider a dream team of employees here that really helped shape how the shop can function. And I'm just beyond grateful for everyone's work during this crazy time. I'm stoked to work with every single person here on a daily basis and I couldn't be more grateful for each and every individual human being here at The Lost Co. So I've been doing some new stuff inside of the shop such as managing the business better, you know, all that stuff with, you know, the boring banking things and like that. And then also outside of the shop, I've also been doing some new things, uh, revisiting some old hobbies, actually gaining some new hobbies and just kind of also relaxing. So let's get into that. So in my free time outside of the shop, I haven't honestly been riding bikes a ton the past year and a half. I have been riding a bunch recently, more on that later, but I also gained uh, a new hobby and that is moto. So I actually got into riding dirt bikes in the woods. Russ, our, one of our head mechanics here, is super into moto and I thought that seemed fun and different. So I got into that. I actually bought a, I think it was a 2010 KTM XCFW woods bike and got out onto the trails. And it was weird because you have fun going up rather than having fun going down. So total opposite of mountain biking. And it was just kind of cool. It's like a new fresh perspective of what you can do on two wheels out with a bunch of trees around you. So that's been pretty rad. That bike got me on the trails. I learned a bunch and then I rode someone's two stroke and that was a bad idea because I really liked it. So sold the KTM to a close friend and then I bought a 2019 beta cross trainer so a 302 stroke and that thing is super fun and so i rode that a whole ton uh, besides that i also have revisited an old hobby so i don't know if you guys know this about me but i'm also a huge car enthusiast so besides bikes i really love cars i've had a ton of cars something around 30 or a little over 30 cars or something like that i grew up kind of in the drag race scene in chicago and i have always really enjoyed cars i kind of got out of cars in like 2014 and and went full mountain bike. That's when I really got very immersed in the mountain biking scene. And then obviously in the mountain bike business in 2016, I've been in the industry for, you know, since I was 16. But anyway, I got into owning a business in 2016. Recently, within the past couple years, got back into cars. And so I took on some car projects uh, over the past year and a half or so. Real quick, if in case anyone is interested, if you're into cars, let's see, I had two in the past couple years that were more projects. I had a 2008 Evo 10, which was kind of like a semi project, didn't need a ton, but those things always kind of need something and that thing was rad it had pretty much every aftermarket part that you could possibly put on it with a stock motor and stock drivetrain super super fun got that all running built it up a bit i uh, had my fun with that sold that then i had a uh, c6 corvette and i did a little bit well actually a huge project with that literally stripped the car down full engine full drivetrain out uh, all new suspension all new drivetrain swap heads cam uh, more boost with the supercharger wheels tires full refresh on pretty much everything uh, that thing was super fun, had fun with that. Did a little bit of racing with that, some roll racing, and yeah, had my fun with that and then sold that. Don't worry, I do this kind of often. I buy and sell cars, learn stuff about them, have fun with them, wrench on them, sell them, on to the next one. However, I am looking forward to going to a new, more long-term platform, and we'll see kind of where that goes. Uh, speaking of, I've always kind of had this idea of maybe starting a separate YouTube channel where I just screw around with cars. Uh, let me know in the comments if you would be interested in watching me screw around with cars. I'd be interested to hear. All right, besides riding dirt bikes and wrenching on cars, I've also honestly just been relaxing a bit. I really just needed to take a, a rest and kind of refresh my brain. And I've been just doing some basic stuff more often, like hanging out with my girlfriend, hanging out with my cats. I love cats, by the way. Watching movies, TV, YouTube, just hanging out and hanging out with friends, things like that. It's been really nice to kind of just reset my brain and just refresh my outlook on everything. And it's been very nice. I just didn't take a break to kind of 
just hang out with myself and focus on myself for a while. So it's been really nice the past eight months to a year going back to the basics and relaxing, hanging out, you know, still obviously working, but just not going balls to the wall in regards to working and how many hours I've been working. So that leads me to now. What's going on now and what are we going to do here moving forward? So overall, I, I think I've said this word probably five times now, but I'm just feeling greatly refreshed. I am feeling very, very motivated and it was nice to kind of take some time from riding my bicycle a lot. And it was just a time to, again, refresh and reset my love for bikes. I rode my bike a lot for many years and uh, being around bikes 24 seven, I just wanted to kind of take a step back and reset my point of view on bikes as a whole. So I love bikes, you guys know that. I freaking love bikes, I grew up with bikes, I'm around bikes all the time. I have a business that's all about mountain bikes, but it's a little overwhelming at times. You know, when you're just around stuff all the time, all the time, all the time, it's nice to take a step back and again, <laughs> refresh yourself, reset yourself, reset your point of view on things. And I'm feeling really stoked on bikes lately. So recently have been riding a bunch the past month or so, and also did a trip up to BC. Haven't been up there for a while because the border was closed for the pandemic. And I rode in Pemberton and Squamish, and that was amazing. I got to see some old friends up in BC, ride a bunch of bikes, do a bunch of shuttle laps and it was very, very fun. So uh, going on that trip after not riding my bike a ton, it was the most fun that I've had on a bicycle in a couple years and I was so pumped for that trip. And last but not least, besides kind of reconnecting with bicycles, I've also feel like I've been reconnecting with our customers a lot lately. So we've recently changed around some positions and job duties here at the shop and recently I've been helping out a lot with the customer service side of things. So that's answering the phone, answering emails, uh, uh, helping customers out front in the retail side of the shop and answering questions on our live chat and our website. It has been great. I mean, I did that for so many years. It almost turns into like a little bit robotic because you're just so used to just answering questions all day and click clacking on the keyboard. Going up to Pemberton and riding with a crowd with my friend, I wasn't really familiar with the people there. I've never met them. And just hanging out with a whole crowd that is super stoked on bikes that I've never met before, getting a fresh perspective on how people were having fun on bikes was great. And then I came back to the shop and I was helping with the customer service side of things. And it gave me a chance to kind of reflect at what it's like to need help with your bike. And I was just so pumped to answer the phone and help customers. I'm still doing that right now. It's really fun because when I answer the phone, say, Lost Go, this is Mike, people are always stoked. They're like, oh my God, I didn't believe you're going to answer the phone, but I'm still here. I still work here. I, you know, I'm, I'm not like out on a cruise ship or anything like that. I still love being at the shop and, and helping customers. And it's been really great. I honestly feel like I've been having more fun helping customers lately than I ever have before. So it's just been an interesting couple of years, needed a little bit of time to relax, needed some time to do businessy stuff, uh, reconnect with some old hobbies, do some new hobbies, take a break from some things that I've just been really doing a lot of for a long time. And it's honestly been great. If if you are watching and you feel like you're either getting overwhelmed with anything or, or burnt out to any degree, I would highly recommend trying to take a step back if, if you can and just try to refresh and reconnect. I feel like I'm looking at things with a totally new set of eyes and for that I am so grateful. All right, well there you have it. That's what the heck I've been up to and also why I have short hair now. So I hope that I answered those common comment questions as well as I could without rambling too much because I have a tendency to do so. All right, I've probably been talking for 15 minutes now. Out. So I'm going to turn the camera off, edit this video, get it out there and just reconnect with you guys on the YouTube. So let me know if you guys have any questions or opinions on anything or comments in general. Uh, please let me know in the comments. I will respond to as many as I possibly can over the next couple weeks. I'm looking forward to that. So until next time, I guess I will just see you later. Peace.